I'm Arnaud Mamé, I'm the lead game designer of the Splinter Cell Chaos Theory Adversarial Mode. Um, what is new in this mode, uh, comparing to Pandora Tomorrow, is a lot of improvements. It's a more mature, uh, more evolved uh, game mode. You've got a lot of uh, new ga gadgets, new, new game modes, uh, new cooperative action and interaction. You can heal your teammates. You can give him gadgets, you can also have a lot of um, humiliation moves like finishing a spy who is on the ground. Um, you've got cool new gadgets, like I said before, like uh, an optic camo, view, uh, camo suit that uh, allows you to become quite invisible. You've got like special poison mine as a mercenary, you've got all that kind of stuff in a new uh, evolution of the game modes with a, a storyline. Um, special mode like this kind of the deathmatch in um, dynamic and uh, moving maps that means that each time you will do something in the map you will take an objective for example you will act on the switch the map will react differently so that means that sometimes you will have to you will close the lights you will open doors you will switch on and or switch off lasers that means that with all these new features um, and all this new evolution of the maps, you will create a session that will never be the same from a session to another. That's what we wanted to create. We wanted to make the game evolve. We wanted to, to make it uh, deeper, uh, better, but also easier to handle. That's why we also changed uh, the controls and we added some new tutorials. <laughs> Thank you.